Hey guys, Father Richard here. Just going to share a quick summary of this book. It's called The Ruthless Elimination of Hurry by John Mark Comer. In this book, he shares his transformational yet still ongoing journey from being a hurried and stressed out megachurch pastor to being more of a peaceful and fulfilled small church leader. The first thing John Mark Comer does is identify the problem, which is hurry. This is based on a quote from Dallas Willard, who identified hurry as the great enemy of the spiritual life in our day. If we take time to reflect upon this, it is so true. We live in a culture of hurry, of pathological busyness, where the only way to try to keep up to the endless list of to-do items that we have is by hurry. If we're willing to admit it, we all suffer from this hurry disease. And what it does is that it cuts ourselves off from the presence of God and makes it near impossible for us to experience the love, joy, and peace of the kingdom of God. We should be kind to ourselves, though, in identifying this problem because we're really the victims of our culture in so many ways, fueled by both rapid advances in technology and social media companies who try to grab as much of our possible attention as they can through things like social validation feedback loops, hit the like button below or comment below as an example. We live in this over busy and culture of constant more, more, and more. And so we're ultimately victims from what the culture continues to feed us on a daily basis. The effects of this hurried pace of life are numerous. Four that I've really narrowed down the focus to is first the inability to concentrate. Multitasking and distraction is now the norm as we have so many devices sending us notifications all day long. Second is our inability to contemplate. How can you waste time in prayer when you have so many things to get done and productivity is so highly valued in your life? It's near impossible to have a deep spiritual life when we're so deeply influenced by the cult. Third is the inability to rest. When workaholism or just non-stock activity and a culture that presents busyness as the new virtue, how can you really take a time, a day off just to rest? Fourth is the inability to be really healthy. AJ Swoboda put it this way, we have become perhaps the most emotionally exhausted psychologically overworked, spiritually malnourished people in history. Instead of finding healthy ways to rest, we engage in escapist behaviors like overeating or binging on Netflix. In order to begin the process of unhurrying your life, John Mark Comer puts forward four practices. The first is silence and solitude. Just as Jesus often went alone to be by himself in silence to reconnect with his father, we too need to do the same thing. We need to find quiet places in which we can provide that environment of external silence to enter into the depths of our soul to encounter God. Second, Sabbath. This is my favorite part by John Mark Comer. He says that the Sabbath is the only spiritual discipline that God commanded us to do, so we should take it really seriously. And when we look at the word Sabbath in Hebrew, it can mean two different things. One is to stop, and second is to delight. First, we must stop. Just as God stopped after working for six days in the creation story, we too must literally stop from all the work that we're doing on a daily basis. This is the way to rebel against the culture of endless to-do items and more, more, more. Second, we must learn how to delight. We must take time to delight in the important things of life, like God, family, and ourselves by going out into nature, and by going to a church in order to connect with God, these provide beautiful environments to find true delight. Third is simplicity. Whereas our culture promotes owning lots of stuff as a path to experiencing happiness, Jesus takes it a different way. Jesus says that simplicity is essential to finding true happiness because we're able to eliminate everything that gets in the way of where our true happiness is found in God alone. Fourth is slowing down. We need to slow down our pace throughout the day. John Mark Comer puts forward lots of great ideas. Some of the ones that I really like is his insight on driving. Try driving the speed limit, coming to a full stop at stop signs, avoiding going weaving back and forth to find the fastest lane, and don't text and drive. Second, related to your phone, Comer says, turn your smartphone into a dumb phone. Take off email, social media, 
and parent your phone. That means putting it to bed well before you go to bed and only waking it up well after you've woken up and had time for prayer. Third is about vacations. Comer advises us once a month to take a full day of silence. For Catholics, we call this a desert day, the Jesus experience. And also, take full advantage of your vacation time every year. We need to provide long opportunities for us to fully recover our souls. I hope you enjoyed the summary of John Mark Comer's book, The Ruthless Elimination of Hurry. It's well worth the purchase, even if it's just for this beautiful cover. God bless you.